Good morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoy this video, we hope that you'll come back tomorrow. Is your hair straightened? I just blow dried it. Oh, got a <laughs> blowout. I got a collar and my hair's done. Oh my goodness. We're about to go see our baby. About Peter to. hasn't seen him since eight weeks. Since 12 weeks ago. Since our first ultrasound. You're right. Because we had two at CRM and you only went to one. Yeah. <sighs> and you've had one here? I've had one here and then I also heard his heartbeat here. So. So it's been a long time since I've seen him. Yeah. In person. Mm hmm Let's go. We got photos of your friend to show you. <laughs> He's getting bigger. 12 whole ounces. It's like you're 12 pounds, he's 12 <laughs> ounces. He's got some catching up to do. We are home. We didn't get any video. No. I'll put in a couple of pictures here. Um, but the little boy was just snoozing away. Yeah. He was not very photogenic. And actually I had to like go on my sides and try to- Wake him up. Wake him up. and. All of that. Um, to his defense, like Sarah, at the time of the appointment, is typically still in bed yeah. the past couple of weeks. Sure. So he was probably just snoozing away, thinking yeah. it was still bedtime. Mm -hmm. um, but they were able to get all of the measurements and everything was spot on. Our Everything's blood work. Perfect. 12 ounces. Results came back and all of the, like, the tests for specific, um, like, abnormalities in the spine. Um, Amazonal. Yeah, everything came back negative. So my doctor's just like, this Looking is good. textbook pregnancy. Like, there's not even really got much. Some cool, vi like to say. we saw cool ultrasounds of his heart and all the four chambers were pumping away. Yeah. Is someone excited that we're back, <laughs> or what? Um. So really good. Just yeah. except you're, you're for like him. The photos of the yeah. Cool. Except for him, like not moving. He was posing he just... with his legs at first. He was like stretching he was, them. And then, well, first he was like out, and then he was like a total ball. Um, super cute, and definitely a boy. Yeah. And she is definitely leaning hard against me for some reason. Because there's peanut butter on the on the coffee table. What a relief. Yeah, huge relief. But now I have to work. Can't wait until I'm able to capture it on film or have Peter feel it. I feel like this week I've really been able to start feeling like little flutters or kicks and I totally just felt him. And so after all that poking and prodding, now he's awake. Maybe I just need to schedule appointments later in the day. I even drank Pepsi before the appointment to get him all wiggly, but he's probably just used to it. Yes, that is McDonald's barbecue sauce. <laughs> Yes, these look absolutely delicious. I won't Chick be leaking nuggets. with this description because that was not easy. I used an easier one before that was baking. I fried these. Give you context, it's been about an hour to an hour and a half since Sarah came out. She, like, we didn't get lunch on the way home because we need to get home. Sarah's like, I can just make something easy. She found these chickpea nugget recipe, and it was, so and it was the furthest thing from being easy. I just did, I haven't said a word. I think in the since we got home, <laughs> not because of any of the reason other than like I could tell this wasn't <laughs> the easiest. <laughs> this was but now we feast. A good choice. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. She's not ready for the weekend yet. She must rest first. It is 4:30. Sarah's finishing up the vlog, and. She got two Green Rivers for one for each of us. And then this morning, she was, you know that other Green Rivers for you? And I was like, I know, I, just, I don't want it yet. And then just now, she was like, do you want to like split that, that Green River? <laughs> of course, I will. <laughs> well, because, well, mm, mm. Uh, because like I got you those Ruby Ears and I got the Green River, but I wanted you to have a Green River, but then you didn't have it right away, so it's just been taunting me. <laughs> So we're gonna split the screen over before I go back out today. Going on to uh, City Hall, I think, today. All right, um, the people that I usually march with, I don't know, I don't think they're marching today, but there is a group here at City Hall protesting, so Sarah's dropping me off. Yeah. <laughs> so today is an interesting day because today is the fourth anniversary of the attack that happened at Pulse nightclub where 49 people were murdered. Um, I think, it doesn't look like a huge group right now, 
But it looks like, I think online they were trying to get the memorial crowds that were at Pulse earlier to come down here afterwards. I know there's some bigger things planned this weekend downtown in Orlando, but this will be good. You can hear about LGBT Live outside of the Pulse anniversary, outside of Rainbow Capitalism Plague Pride Month, because I just want to tell you, LGBT people are LGBT 24-7. 24 days out of the day, 24 hours out of the day, for seven days a week, we are LGBT and we need your energy the way that our energy has been out there for you. I want to talk to you a bit about intersectionality because there's this mentality that there's a separation of the black revolution and the LGBT revolution, but the thing is, there are black people who are LGBT who we need to be fighting for. I want to ask you, did you know that the Black Panthers were approached by a gay activist on actually unlearning queer, um, queer phobia and transphobia. And Huey P. Newton ended up announcing that he would be allied with creating an alliance with the Trans Action Street Initiative, and he also allied with a gay rights movement in, the, in New York. Alrighty, I am home. I talked to my mom on the phone for a little bit and just hung out. Um, I am making twice baked potatoes for dinner. Again, like we ate lunch a little bit later today. And so I know when Peter gets home, he's gonna be hungry and I'm hungry. We actually haven't even eaten our gazpacho soup yet. Um, I think that'll be for tomorrow. Um, but I'm gonna mix the potatoes with avocado and some hot sauce. And that is what is going to um, kind of make them super creamy. And then when Peter gets home, he'll just be able to heat his up. So I just baked these babies for an hour at 450. They're covered in olive oil, salt, pepper, and poked with a fork. They have to cool off before I handle them. Um, but they smell yummy already. So I have one avocado. Don't mind if you hear Beauty and the Beast playing in the background. Um, some lime juice, salt, pepper, minced garlic, and some Valentina. I'm just gonna mash this and then take the insides of the potato and mash it all together. When I've made this before, I did use a food processor and it was a lot easier. I also included onions last time and that was yummy, but I haven't cleaned the food processor yet from this morning's chicken nugget debacle. Um, but mashing with your hand is easy. So this is a full potato and a full avocado. So it's a very filling meal. Um, typically I'll have like a salad or something on the side, but this will be good and easy for Peter to just heat up tonight and us to eat on the go. Alrighty, here is how they look going back in. I have been having some heartburn lately. I doubt this is going to be good for it. Um, but they're pretty stuffed. I'm gonna put them back in for maybe like 15, 20 minutes-ish. I'll probably check on them after 10. Um, I try not to show people's faces, but I'm gonna try to show this dog. Look at this nice puppy, yes. Come around, gather around, and agree that Human injustices, human rights violations have been done to disproportional communities. Trans lives are under attack. What do we do? Like when black lives are under attack, what do we do? Like when queer lives are under attack, what do we do? Like when brown lives are under attack, what do we do? Like what do we do? Like what do we do? Plot like twist. So I don't know if I've said it before, but the people who have been coming to City Hall every day for like two weeks now. Orlando Freedom Fighters is the one group that organizes it. They come out at 4 p.m. every single day and they're the ones that are, were one of the lead uh, planners for last week's big protest that brought out thousands and thousands to Orlando. And they're doing that tomorrow as well. So this, since it's a smaller crowd today, the organizers are actually gonna start packing up because they've been out here three and a half hours already. So they are gonna start packing up now and a couple of people are going to stay back until everybody's gone, but they're kind of like, we're going to shut it down early so everyone can get home, get rested, because tomorrow's supposed to be really hot and a really long day, and they're wanting to do, like, a ton of speakers and a bunch of, like, actually do marching, because I haven't seen marching since I was in... I haven't seen marching downtown Orlando since last Sunday, um, last Saturday, I think. And I haven't seen marching elsewhere since I was with my friends that I met up with in um, the Windermere, or Dr. Phillips Windermere 
Universal area the other day. Um, so I'm glad to hear that they're at least doing marching tomorrow. So Sarah's actually gonna come pick me up because I need to get out and run. And I think that's the game plan. She's still cooking dinner, but she's gonna take a break, come get me. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna get out and put lace back up and get back on the runs. Um, I was supposed to start last week training for Chicago, but it's just been, it's been a whirlwind of a, it, life is so weird right now. It's just so weird. And everybody's doing the best they can, you know? That's all you can do. Goodbye. When was the last time you guys saw me in this outfit? You've been getting plenty of activity, but this will feel good. Yeah. Um, I need to get my <laughs> ring fixed. I don't, for anybody who wonders, I don't wear my ring when I run because I'm scared it's going to fall off. Yeah. And I've been planning to go to the jeweler that we go to in Oak Lawn, Illinois, uh, but we haven't been back to Chicago in a long time. And I don't know when we're going to go back. Um, but I need to get it resized. Yeah, we did find a jeweler over in College Park, so maybe we'll do there. If not, hopefully we'll be there at the end of the summer for, but I don't know if there's enough time. Right, because I, I, ideally, I, I mean, like, it doesn't take long to resize, but it, like, you have to give them a window of days, like three or four days, so that right. they can, like, get to it when they get to it. Yeah. Gotta go. Alrighty, how many are you doing? Six, maybe. Ta-ta! Maybe four, maybe six, probably six, but if I got out there, because it's been a while, and I'm like, ooh, it might be four. Okay, good luck. Thanks. Okay, so this is how it looks. It is pretty messy. Um, it's going to be super yummy. I also topped it with lime juice. So I'm going to eat and then keep it up with my letter writing. Oh, I think I went too fast at first, but it feels good to be back. But I definitely been drinking way too much coffee the past couple days and not enough water. Fun fact for running, hydration is not a day of thing. You, you won't drink a bunch of water in the morning, go on a run in the evening and feel up, up to snuff on hydration. That's a, it's something you build up in your, in your body and the cells of your organs and tissues for days. And I have not been hydrating enough. I can tell you that right now. I can't even tell I should be sw more sweaty than this. Whew. All right, gotta go. Feel good. Feel glad to be out again. All right, I am home. I'm gonna eat these. You showed the dinner, I presume? Yes. I'm about to max on mine and have this Big old Country Thunder mug of water. Shout out to Country Thunder, Twin Lakes, Wisconsin. This was the first year my family ever went, way back in the day. Still repping this mug. I don't think anybody in my family knows I have it, so. <laughs> if you're watching this. Surprise. Surprise, I love and use it, so don't worry, it's cherished. Eve is barking at my food, so I'm gonna go eat. All right, today, June 12th by Robin Williams. You're only given one little spark of madness. You mustn't lose it. Oh, I dig that a lot. A little spark. Battery's about to die, so we must go to bed. Yeah, we do want to point out, though, that today is Loving Day, which is wild that it was only 53 years ago that the Supreme Court ruled states could no longer deem interracial marriages illegal. Boom. That is wild, but an important day. We love all of you. Yes. It's good it's to be good home. It's good to be home.